okay so we have spent time previous chapter we have spent time doing simultaneous equation elimination method substitution method problem solving okay we have to move on don't worry if let's say you think oh mister i don't know how to do the algebra part of simultaneous equation why because in this chapter five the next chapter we will spend time doing nothing but just algebra how to expand how to simplify and if required how to solve equations okay so all this the next chapter five and chapter six is on nothing but expansion and factorization very good for building our foundation okay all this is important because it will come up for exam for n levels for o levels for your media exam for your year end exam so you must pay solid uh, careful attention uh. Uh, up front here i must say that most of us here are very strong in this chapter already most of us sarah will have no problem i think uh, 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 Lisa, Kai uh, Kai, uh, Sonali will no prob problem. Uh, some of you may struggle with this because you are still not very strong in algebraic manipulation yet. How to simplify, how to bring things left, bring things right, you don't know. Don't worry, we'll take this entire chapter to spend time practicing it, okay? Okay, first things first. Before we deal with the example, I need you to understand this. This, uh, the first thing I want you to do is this. You must recognize something called the like terms. Okay, girls, in algebra, in the world of algebra, you can only add and subtract like terms. What do I mean by that? For example, I say 3x plus 2x. Example, huh? what is 3x plus 2x? 5x. 5x. Uh, 5x. Uh, you know it's 5x, but how do you know it's 5x? Because it's the same. Same. Very good. Same, right? Look, same, same. XX, right? Yeah. This is what we call like terms like terms okay so Nilu must write it down Diana write it down this is called like terms so you know this 5x what if I ask you what is 3x plus 2x squared oh, what is this number one is this 3x plus 5x squared some of you will say mister I think it's 5x cubed is this correct no. is this correct no, no. Sarah it's then what is this it's exactly the same, right? Sarah said, no, this is wrong because it should be 3x plus 2x squared. But now let me ask you why. Sarah, why do you say that? Because, because um, it's not the same. Very good. They are not what? They are not like terms. Like terms. Very good. They are not like terms. Girls, x and x squared are different. x squared is x times x. Yes, so correct. Like them means they must look exactly the same. X and X. I like them is a 3X but different number 2X squared. Different numbers, yes. This is called a coefficient. Over here, this is 3X and 2X squared. Different family. One is an X family, one is an X squared so family. Unlike. Not the same, so you unlike. Uh, so they are not the same. Different terms. So you cannot add or subtract them. Are we clear? So Sarah is correct, it is like this. What if I ask you what is uh 5x minus 2y? What is 5 minus 2y? 5x minus 2y. Nilu, why, why is it 5x minus 2y? Why is it still the same? Nilu, why? Because? Because they are not like terms. They are not like terms. Okay? They are not like them. One is X family, one is Y family. So this one is very obvious, but this one will trick some of you. Okay, I give you a hard one. What if it is 5AB minus 2BA? What is this equals it's, to? It's like 3AB. 3AB. Oh, why oh, like this? Because B and A is B times A and A times B. Good. You understand? You understand? Not everybody can see that. Because it will trick some of you. Like that. It will trick some of you because yeah, yeah. some of you will say, Did it trick you, Diana? Yeah. The A, B, and Mr. Different. Oh. I stand like that. Embarrassing. I stand like that. Very good looking. I stand like that. Also very good looking. <laughs> no, I'm joking, joking. So over here, what is, what's happening is, I like uh, Gaia's explanation better, okay? 5 A, B. She recognized that B times K is the same as A times B. So B, A is the same as A, B. A, B is the same as M, M. Okay, so, so over here, A, B is the same as, B, A is the same as A, B. So 5 A, B minus 2 A, B is 3 A, B. So it is correct. Okay, so the key thing is, Mr. Ng, uh, how do we recognize if they are like terms? You must look. If they are the same, look exactly the same. Ah, they are called like terms, we can add and subtract them. Okay, okay. 
How long is it? Okay. Okay. So now, uh, understanding the addition and uh, subtraction of like terms. So now we move on to an example. Okay. Our understanding is always strengthened. Should maybe attention. We are also understanding is always strengthened when we do examples. Okay. Let's try. Okay. Gaya, Sarah, watch here. Over here, example first question. It says, can you simplify this? Yes. Wait, wait, watch. Three x squared plus six x minus two x squared minus five x. The first thing we do is to do this kind of addition subtraction, right? We have to group the like terms together. How do you group the like terms together? Before you answer, Lisa, tell me which are the like terms. Can you find a term that is a like to three x squared? Very good. So three x squared. 2x squared. Wait a minute. Is this plus 2x squared or minus 2x squared? Minus. minus. Always take the sign in front. Okay, follow minus 2x squared. Then, Let's continue, huh? Diana? And then after that, plus. Plus Can you find the third that's the same as? X plus uh, minus 5x. Very good. Okay, now, now when we reach this step, okay, watch, huh? pay attention. For our class, I don't want you to do mental sum. Why? Because sometimes, we, we okay, I admit, right now at this moment, right, our mental sum is not rock solid. Sometimes, 2 plus 3, some of you will say, 5,000. No. Right? Well, you know, what the, I'm joking, so I'm exaggerating. Okay, what I'm saying is, some of you, your mental sum may not be that strong yet. So what you do is, please go ahead, 2 plus 3 is 5. You know it's 5 right now, 5. But, to be safe, punch your calculator and check. For now, until your algebra, your mathematics, your mental sum can get, start getting stronger and stronger, then we will put aside the calculator and start doing everything mental sum. But until we reach there, I want everyone, because I don't want you to lose marks in exam, huh? every single one punch your calculator. Okay? So now we just try first, huh? 3x squared minus 2x squared equals to what? X squared. X squared. X squared. 1x squared, right? X squared. Sarah, you with me? X squared plus. Wait, huh? Wait, huh? 6x minus 5x is? X. 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 Wait a minute. Plus x or minus x? Plus x. Okay. Diana, what is x squared plus x? Uh, don't say, I don't say, huh? What's x squared plus x? Just say wrong am I wet? What do you have? 2x squared. Okay, is this 2x squared? Okay, let's let's check. Let's check. Okay, check our understanding, huh? X squared is one family. X is Another one family. family. Okay, are they like terms, Diana? Are they like terms? No. Gaya, are they like terms? No! No, they're not like terms. So can you add them? No. No. So the answer is x squared plus x. That was oh, a, this is still silly. Yeah, that was a trick question, right? That's why I got bad trick. I trick you, right? Uh, yeah, nah, understand? Nah? Yeah. Don't be tricked, okay? Okay. Okay, so over here, before we attempt uh, example two, okay, I give you guys some time to try. Before we do that, let us recall what we did in primary school, okay? When you multiply stuff. A positive term, plus, time, plus. Positive, time, positive. When the signs are the same. What do you have? Positive oh, or negative? Po po oh, plus okay. or minus? Plus. plus. Minus and minus? Minus. Plus. Minus plus? Plus. Plus times minus? Minus. Minus, minus. wait ah, uh, Nilo. Minus times plus is? Minus. Okay, girls, let me teach you a way of memorizing this, remembering this. The trick is simple. Gaya, watch ah. Uh. When the signs are the same, you realize when you multiply them, it's always plus. When the signs are different, you realize that when you multiply them, yes. it's always minus. Plus and minus, minus and plus. When you multiply in different signs uh, uh, and expressions, you always be with minus. But when you multiply two expressions that's of the same sign, plus and plus, will be plus. Minus and minus is plus. Be careful, uh, Gaya. This is not the same as the minus 3, minus 5. Yeah. Yeah. Oh money, this is oh money pay money, right? Yeah. Minus three dollar, minus five dollar equals what? Diana, Diana, what do you have? Oh money pay money. Yeah, minus three, minus five. Eight. Minus eight. Like I borrow three dollar from you, I owe you three dollar, right? After I borrow another five dollar from you, how much do I owe you? Eight dollars. Get it? But what is minus three times minus five? Okay, let's run through what's minus three times minus five. The, uh, Nilo, what do I have? Minus times minus is what? Plus. Then you do the number. 3 times 5 is? So, minus 3 times minus 5 is equal to? 15. Unders do you understand? Yes. yes? Okay, now with this, I'll come to this question. Huh? Uh, everyone, have you copied this down first? Copy this down. You all have it? Okay, copy it down. Okay. Over here to solve this, right? I'm uh, sorry, not to solve this. To simplify this. Okay? Watch, huh? 3x squared 
Okay, always remember, just now somebody mentioned board mushroom. Yes, you're correct. Always do the board mushroom for the expansion. Get rid of the bracket first. Minus 8x plus 4 with a... What is this? Uh, Sarah, plus bracket means plus times minus 3x squared. Very good. Gaia, what is minus bracket minus 3x? Oh, minus... Minus... Plus. 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 Very good. Plus what? Plus 3x. 3x then plus 1. Very good. This is the first line you must be able to show me. You must be able to manage. Uh, Nilo, this is what I mean by plus times minus. Minus. Minus times minus. Plus. Okay? Do you get this or not? Can? Okay, next. Uh, I continue. Uh. So this is equals to... So let us group the like terms together. Group the like terms together. 3x squared. Anything? This? Minus 3x squared. Oh, very good. Okay, don't say anymore. Don't say anymore. I have a minus 8x. I write minus 8x. Wait, uh, uh, Kim, what is it? Wait, anything similar to x? x uh, plus 3x. Very good. Then the last one, plus, plus 4, four plus, plus 1. 1. Okay, what is 3x squared minus 3x squared, everybody? Zero. Zero, zero. zero right? Zero, huh? What's minus 8x plus 3x? Minus 5x. Minus 5x. If you don't know, punch calculator. Then you say, we still but cannot punch x in the calculator, right? Correct. Then don't punch x. Just punch minus 8 plus 3. It will give you negative 5. So negative 5x. Okay? Then 4 plus 1, everybody knows it's 5. five. So I'm sure we got this answer. Yes? Yes? yes. Okay, so now everybody, I okay. give you two, uh, one minute, one minute. Try this one on your own. Okay? Uh, thanks, Lisa. So this is the last example that uh, we have. So if I want you to simplify something that looks like this. So again, the board must rule. Okay, always manage what you have in the bracket first. Attempt to expand. Girls, in this chapter 5, we will work with expansion. Expansion means to get rid of the brackets. Get rid of the brackets. In chapter 6, we will do factorization, which is to put in brackets. Okay? So for this particular chapter, we'll be doing a lot of this expansion, then simplify. So what I need you to do is to not leave here. So to expand, right, there's a minus here. So it's an invisible minus 1. So minus times positive will be minus 3x uh, squared. Minus times minus plus 5x, fantastic. Minus times plus is minus 3. Then over here, I like what she did was she grouped all the like terms together. 5x squared minus 3x squared. She grouped the like terms together. 2x, she grouped it with 5x and then 1 minus 3. So fantastic. Uh, very nicely done by Lisa. 5x five, five squared minus 3x squared is 2x squared. Then this is 7x minus 2. Diana, do you put these two together? Can you continue add these two to become 9x cubed? Do you do that? Uh, Cannot. Okay? So this is just as it is. Understand? Yes, Kim. Okay. You write that same right exactly. You mean uh you write it this way, is it? No no no. Like I put you just add the plus and yeah, the plus, yeah, like for Oh, okay. If you write it like, like this, plus minus two, is it? Yeah. Okay, this is not a good habit. Uh. Okay, theoretically speaking, uh, some features may not be wrong, no. Some markers may not be wrong. But you say no such thing as plus minus. But I understand what you're doing. You're actually writing this. Am I correct? No, you're actually you writing this. Okay. Uh Yes, but this is still not the most simplified answer. If I want it to, if I say expand and simplify, you must get rid of brackets. So why is this bracket here? So that's why you must understand. Plus times minus is what? Minus. minus. That's why we don't write the plus. We just write minus. So what if you exactly write exactly? Uh, you're at a risk. Teachers may mark you wrong. Markers may mark you wrong. So the safer thing is learn what is correct and do what is correct.